Hey guys, Rich from Over the Fender Garage. Well, I'm kind of running into a dead end here. I don't have very much to do, so I'm going to start doing some body work. I've got my bumper started. I ran out of uh, resin, thought I had more than I had, so I had to order resin. My rear end hasn't shown up yet, so I'm kind of at a standstill. The uh, next thing I'm going to do is then fill in some time, I'm going to start doing some body work. I've got everything all cleaned up here. Ran over the whole thing here with 80 grit on my DA. I pounded out these dents as much as I could. What well, was, uh, was cleaning it up. I pounded out this one a little bit from the inside, so that one's pretty much taken care of. I just won't do from here down. I'll get the main part of the quarter panel. But I got all that door stripped off. I do not like going over that primer because you don't know what it is and how good it's stuck. So I cleaned it up. And same with this front bumper here. I'll stop about here, leave all that. But driver's side's not done. I'm just gonna start on the passenger side. Work my way around it. It's the best way to do body work. You try to do the whole thing, you kind of end up getting bored with it and messing up. Do one panel at a time or one side at a time. It comes up much better. So I got my jam all cleaned up here. This is all ready to go. Everything's been washed down <clears throat> with acetone and lacquer thinner. So it's all nice and clean. No oil on it. And when I do body work, I like to wear gloves. So you're not touching it with your bare hands. A lot of people will touch it with their bare hands and you leave finger oil on it, body oil, sweat. So we've got sweatshirt on, so not dripping on the car. It's not too hot. It's probably about 70 degrees right now. So it's, it's great weather for doing this before it gets cold. So I figured I'd knock some of this out. Since there's not a whole heck of a lot to do, this is a pretty easy job to do body work on. But I figured I'd get it started. That way it's out of the way. We get on to doing some other stuff. But other than that, I'm gonna start doing the body work. I don't know if a lot of people like to watch this. I hear everybody say something about, everybody turns it off when it comes to body work. So I kind of keep it short. So I won't go get into depth and details and stuff. Unless people want it, they can put it in the comments. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to start it and start, start slinging some on there.
All right, there is my base. Got my first coat on there. It's all come out pretty nice. Now I'll take and I'll do this whole piece of the quarter panel with a nice coat. And this, there's all kinds of little dents and dings in here. So I'm gonna end up having to do a lot of this. A coat over the top of the whole quarter panel. But I'll do this one here and get some of that started for its first coat. Then I'm going to do this part. This is gonna need two coats. There's like three dents right there. I got them out as good as I could. But then you got the other accident damage here. So I'll do this end of the quarter panel with its first coat. And I should be able to finish this quarter panel piece out right here with this next coat. So it's gonna go pretty quick. I'll do detail, the detail stuff like this. I'll come back around and do it. You get the, get the main part done and then do this. Kind of just the way I do body work. As soon as I get that one to where it's on its second, then I'll start on the door with its first. So I'm always moving to where there's dry bondo. It's not sticky. So you're always jumping but I don't go and run around the whole vehicle putting Bondo on it and then run around it trying to sand it to me it just makes it harder just a spot at a time pick a spot work it out I mean, you can only sand so far before you're exhausted doing this stuff so it's like that that get on the door just jump around a little bit knock it all out well, let's get a coat on that and get a coat on that. So basically I'm going to do the whole quarter panel and then get it to where I can sand that one. base 
all done on the front. It actually came out really good on the back one here. It's got this little spot right here. The rest of them filled in. I knew they weren't very deep. That one really not either, because it's got scratches there. But I'll fill that one in now, take care of that. And I'll go through in any spot like this, anything like this. All this has been blown out with the air hose to get all the dust out of it. Keeps you from having so many pinholes in the stuff. But I'll kind of get some of this kind of stuff like this here. I'll fill that in instead of trying to sand it off and then I'll sand it off. Because if I were to sand that off right now, I'd get lumps in it. It'd be all wavy. So if I fill it in now and then sand it, it'll come out nice and smooth. But I'll run around, get spots like that, take care of that. This little spot here, you see really light spots that are not sanded yet. I'll go ahead and fill those in after I get rolled. I'm gonna do these ones first here, this kind of stuff, and that. And then on my next one, I'll go in, I'll just lightly skim over all these spots here. Instead of trying to sand them out right now, it's better to add more and sand it off than it is to try to sand it off and then add more and then sand it off again. Because you end up having a lot of waves in it. If you work it to where it's perfectly smooth and then sand it till you start seeing metal, you see the metal right there. So it's not thick, it's very thin coat. But this way you get that nice smooth, because the more you try to sand a little spot, the worse the waves are going to get. Been doing this a long time. This is the best way I've figured it out. Yeah, you, you do use a lot more product, but you end up with a heck of a nicer job. It's kind of one of those things that this is how I'm used to doing it. I've, I've figured out a process for myself. I do the process and it comes out perfect. And this is the best way I've ever figured out of doing body work. It's a little more material, but you end up with a lot better job. It's, a, it's just a better way to do it. At least it is for me. I know you, you'll see some that have some little bitty dots all over it that they filled in spots and then they do it. Well, I'd never be able to do that. If I did that, it'd be all full of waves. And most likely theirs are too. You do it this way. This way you have all this base here that you can sand down to where it's all the same level. Once you start seeing that uh, metal coming through, that's where you want to stop at. But yeah, it's just the way I do it. So you find a way to do something and you stick to the way you do it. Don't try to do it a different way. It's, uh, it just becomes automatic when you're doing it. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish it up. So I'll have this one quarter panel knocked out and start moving on towards the front of the truck.
I got that door pretty much knocked out. But the uh, the door's all sanded out. You see, I've, I've taken and circled with the pencil. All the little spots I want to fix before I do my final sanding on it. There's just a few, so that's a scratch from something in the bondo, little miss spots, little low spot. This is a low spot. This is a few pinholes, another little low spot. But basically I'll put a real light coat over top of all these and then I can finish sanding out this panel all the rest of the way and it'll be done. And that's the quarter panel all pretty much done. I got a spot here and a spot here and a spot there. Hit one little tiny one right there. A little spots here and there. <clears throat> but I'll hit those, I'll hit that. Get those ones ready to go. And then I'll jump on this front fender here, which I've got one of the patches I did and a little tiny accident damage right here. So I'll get those ones started. And then after I get those done, I'll go and do the whole panel again with another coat. And the passenger side will be basically done. We'll get in here and do this door column. I haven't sanded the back, that's why I haven't done any of it. But we'll get on that. Kind of, I put the car up very high. It's easier to sand. The higher you can get the car to where it's eye level, the easier it all is to sand. If you keep it low, you're always bending over. It makes you sore fast. You get the car up as high as possible, where it's right at eye level pretty much, or a little lower, it does make it a lot easier to sand. And don't try to use your your sandpaper after it's worn out. As soon as it wears out, get rid of it. All you do is waste more time trying to use that same piece of sandpaper. I mean, you can basically tell when it wears out. It stops cutting real good. But we'll get these spots done, and then get on that front fender. Passenger side will be done. This is day... What is this? This is uh, two days, right? Two days, yeah, two and a half days by the time I get this, this done. This side will be all done. And the other side is a lot better shape than what this one was with the quarter panel and all that. So it, it'll go pretty fast. It's basically a week, eh, maybe a little bit more. So right now I won't do the jams and stuff. Not until I get all the body work done, get the bumpers done, maybe, depends. My stuff is supposed to be here Monday. So I can start putting the rear end and stuff in. But if I can get this side done and get some primer on it, I'll be happy. It'd be nice to get the driver's side done too. But we'll see, see how far my arms go. But yep, let's get this part done. Get the rest of those smoothed out. Get on the front fender. Passenger side is basically 90% done. 
So, got to do the bottom, of course, because the bumper's in the way. Maybe a little bit of touch up. But for the most part, passenger side is done. They'll sand it out nicely. Nice and smooth, no ripples in it. So I'll go over it one more time with probably 120 and then put a coat of primer on that. And that'll all be done. Let's get the, uh, go over here. I still got to strip the tailgate. I got a bunch of dents in it. I got to pull out. So I got to pull those. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on doing this quarter panel now on the driver's side. But this one had a bondo on it right here. It's just a dent. No holes or anything in it. So that was good. But all the rest is cleaned up. I am going to... I wasn't going to... But after looking at this a little bit, I am going to fix that door jam. That would bother the hell out of me if I leave it. Couldn't live with it. Couldn't live with it. So I have to do that because that one spot's sticking up. I haven't done it yet. But you look at the bottom of it. And you go up it and it gets pretty big and then it goes back down to where it's the same size yeah couldn't live with it i have to fix it so i'm gonna get the body work done on the quarter panel and i'll probably get the body work done on the front fender and decide on which way i want to fix this the uh, best way is to move this sheet metal this way and straighten that jam out. Because you could see it was done at the factory. It's not flat. The whole thing's pushed back like this. And it starts right about there. And it goes all the way up to right here. Now it's not from damage because there's no dents here. Never been hit in that area. It's just the way they put it together from the factory. I noticed that when I was uh, doing the first video of the truck, that all the gaps were pretty good except for this one. So, if I take it and cut this open right here, straighten this piece out to where it's flat like it's supposed to be, and then I can tap this down. It's got to go all the way down to where this line is. So it looks right. It's not sticking up. So I'll probably just end up cutting it all the way down here and then filling in that piece. The other alternative is to put a TIG welding rod on here or some 14 gauge on that and sand it back. But I kind of like the idea of fixing it on here because of the way it's just pulled back like that. But I'm not going to worry about that right this minute. Let me get this done before the weather changes and gets too cold. So on to doing that quarter panel. And then that vendor. And whatever else. We'll get to that later. But on to doing some more sanding. It all came out looking pretty good. It's nice seeing the truck clean. Look at that bad boy. All right, back to sanding.
So I went and got this side all mudded up, ready to go. And I decided I had a little time left last night left. So I went and I had to fix the jam. Look at that now. Now it's beautiful. It's a tiny bit fixing right there. Otherwise than that, just about perfect. I can deal with that. Alrighty, I've got a lot of the body work done on it. The main part is all finished up. Still needs some touching up and stuff like that, but for the main part, it's done. So I got a lot of that knocked out. I got the driver's side pretty much knocked out too. I didn't finish this part, but I got all this. But that's all fixed up and looking good. Almost time to get primer on it. But I'm going to turn my attention back to doing the front bumper and back bumper. It's while I've been doing body work, I went ahead and I filled in little spots here so it's nice and smooth. I went ahead and put one coat of resin on top of the foam and then I went and did my body work on top of that a little bit. You don't want to do a lot because it's still soft at this point. The top one's hard because it's just a thin layer, but the bottom one is soft. You see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is still soft. From this point here now, I'll take it, I'll put two or three layers of chop mat on top of this to get it to where it's nice and firm so I can do real body work on it. And then I'll body work that one out into what my finished bumper will look like. And then from there, I can take and make that into a mold. But first we need to get about three layers on. Two, sometimes three. You want to have it hard enough that you can do body work on it, but you don't want to have it too thick since you're just using it for a mold. Unless you're making it a permanent bumper, then you can do more. But I'm just going to do enough that I can do body work on it so I can make a mold out of it, and then I can make my piece for it. But it all came out nice. I like the way it all looks. I know it looks rough because it is just to fill in. We run over the top of this with some fiberglass on it and then do the main body work on it. It'll come out looking really, really good. Take a look at this one. The same thing on the back one here. It's basically all ready to go. Gives you more of what it looks like. You see some of it filled in. Instead of having holes and stuff in it, you see the nice profile it has. All looks good. So I'll run it up to here. Get it all finished up the way I want it. And that's when I break them off from the vehicle. I then start working on a mounting method. But first, you gotta get it all finished up to where it's done, and then work backwards to get a mounting, some sort of mounting system on it. But we'll start layering these things up. So I can start doing body work on them, get them finished up. <laughs> 